Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hope and this week I'm going to be reading three books that are books in the current series that I'm reading that I need to catch up on. I feel like I put off finishing series for whatever reason um, and we're going to try to end that. So I plan on reading, could be wrong, but I plan on reading Slapshot Surprise by Melanie Harlow, which is book five in Cherry Tree Harbor. Um, I Hate You by Ilsa Madden Mills, which is book three in Wayland University, and Northern Twilight by Samantha Young, which is book five in the Highland series, or yes, the Highland series. So all three series that I've really enjoyed, and Slapshot Surprise will finish Cherry Tree Harbor. Um, I Hate You is book three, so I have one more book in Wayland University, and then in the Highlands, Northern Twilight will catch me up. There's one more book that I think is going to be published early next year. So, like, we are right there, catching up, doing a good job, and I love that. I'm really hoping that I love all of these books, and I'm really hoping that they're everything I expected. Two of them have a trope that I don't love, which is, like, a surprise pregnancy trope, which is why I have put them off for as long as I have, but sometimes that trope does surprise you, so... Yeah, and with Wayland University, I don't really have a reason for putting these off. They are a little bit angsty, and sometimes I'm just not in the right headspace for angst, and maybe that's why I've been putting it off. But I am excited to dive into these. I'm excited to continue stories that I've loved with characters that I love. So fingers crossed that all of these are fantastic books. I will be back to let you know when I read some. Okay, so it's the next day, but I actually finished Slapshot Surprise last night. And guys, this was so good. Okay, I ended up giving it five stars, which surprised the absolute shit out of me because like I said, I do not love a pregnancy trope, but it was so good. So we had picked up with them getting a little bit closer and they continued to get closer. Like we get a lot of their texts, they're FaceTiming, they're having phone calls. He's afraid to be a dad. She has kind of embraced the fact that she's going to be a mom. She's getting excited, but like, she starts to love hockey. She goes down to Chicago for one of his games and they start to blur the line between friends and more. But they don't see each other again until Christmas when the lines are blurred even more. And then they kind of have to decide how they want to move forward. Do they want to move forward as a couple or do they want to move forward as just two people who are co-parenting? Like I was teary eyed at parts of the end of this. It was like I couldn't handle it. I was actually teary-eyed. I thought it was so good. I thought it was so well done. Joe's character growth was like 10 out of 10. Mabel, I feel like, was already a pretty steady and strong, like, adult. Like, she thought about things in an adult way. She was kind of forgiving. She gave people grace. Like, she was very adult. But Joe had this one part where he kind of thought to himself, like, I am so selfish off of the ice. Like, I am a selfish person. And I was like, I can feel that too. Like, I feel like that sometimes too. Like, I'm just like, I'm a selfish person. The only person I care about is myself. Um, and he had to grow and learn that that wasn't the only thing that mattered, that he wasn't the most important thing in his life. And I was like, wow. So that character growth, 10 out of 10. I did love the romance. I thought that they had really great banter. I thought that they got along really well. I thought they were just a really well done couple. I really enjoy Melanie Harlow's books because you just get sucked right in and I think this was definitely one of those even though it was a little bit apprehensive due to the trope. So five stars, fantastic. Don't know what I'm going to read next but I'm excited to dive into something else because for the first time in a while I actually feel like reading so let's get to it. Okay I have actually changed cameras mid video so I don't know how that's going to go. I hope that it goes well but I truly have no idea. So anyway, I am now reading I Hate You by Ilsa Madden Mills. This is book three in the Wayland University series, and it is a fun one. So it's two characters that we were introduced to before. We are following Charisma and Blaze. Actually, what names? Like, truly. So Charisma and Blaze dated for like three weeks. They didn't really date. They hooked up for three weeks last semester, and he broke up with her at her sorority's homecoming date party. Um, so it is now like the the first of the year kind of he's trying to get in the NFL he's not getting a lot of press coverage no one's really talking about him even though he's like this huge amazing SEC wide receiver and she wants to be like a designer but her internship has just fallen through he really hurt her she can't stop thinking about him he knows he hurt her and he also can't stop thinking about her so it's very much like that they are sort of starting to talk again they are in a class together I'm about 40% of the way in I would say so they're in a class together. 
they're like starting to spend more time together they're realizing like oh they're like more real people kind of instead of just like he's this jock and she's like the fun quirky girl who's like really hot so it's been good it's been interesting I really am enjoying this series a lot like there are some really tough things going on I feel like all of the characters have like been through it but it's been really good it's been really fun I am enjoying this book so far I'm enjoying the characters she has um, a lot of body insecurity because she is curvy she's not like stick thin and I can totally feel with that like I completely understand that and it makes you sympathize with her as a character he has more like mental insecurities I would say than like physical ones because he's apparently just stunning but it's really nice to see like on the inside he came from a really bad home situation he doesn't feel like he has a family he doesn't feel like he has like people around him he feels like very much that like number one that's all alone so I am very curious to see where it goes I'm really enjoying it I always love Ilsa Madden Mills books and this one seems to be no exception I am excited about it and I'm hoping to finish it today so I am hoping to be back today with another update okay I look rough I've had like the roughest day but I did finish I Hate You last night and it was really good. I ended up giving it five stars. Like there was so much angst. There was so much like growth that both characters had to go through. I just loved it. So Blaze has like really struggled, like I said before, with like not having a family around, but he's really struggling with not feeling like he's good enough with football either. And like he doesn't want to not go to the NFL, which is like such an issue. And then, you know, Charisma is such a strong character, but she's trying to get her groove back. And she was, like, bullied when she was younger for being overweight and everything. So she kind of still struggles with that when she sees these, like, beautiful girls that Blaze was with and everything. And she's a little bit insecure just about the two of them because he literally has all these people at his feet. But it's something that they have to overcome. They both have to overcome these struggles of, like, what the past was like and everything. I loved it. I thought it was so well done. I thought it was so good. I was rooting for them so much. I absolutely adored the end. Like, I just thought it was so good. I loved it. I'm excited to read the last one, but also, like, not excited to read the last one because then that means the series is going to be over and I'm going to be sad. But I truly thought that this one was really good. I have absolutely adored this series. I have thought all of them were fantastic books. And clearly, this is, like, absolutely no exception. It has truly been such a good book. And I love these characters so much. They all have something hard that they're going through. They've all had a bit of like a rough backstory, but they are just like overcoming, thriving. I truly loved it. Ilsa Madden Mills crafts the most beautiful stories and I like could not get enough of it. I was so excited about it. Like I read the whole thing yesterday, which is so big for me because I feel like I have not been reading like whole books forever. So I thought it was great. Absolutely loved it. Okay, so it has been a minute since I have been here, but in that time, I have read Northern Twilight by Samantha Young, which was the third book that I wanted to read for this particular video, and I truly think it was good. So this is book five in the Highland series, and I have put off reading this one for a bit since it came out because of the trope. Again, it is a surprise pregnancy trope. It's a little bit different than Slapshot Surprise just because this is a second chance romance, and it is with a couple that we have known pretty much since the beginning of the Highlands series. So we are following Callie and Lewis. Lewis is in a dare and Callie, her mom is Sloane who opens a bakery and she's been in the Highlands since she was like 10. So they've been best friends forever and then they date, something happens. They have one night together in London um, and then they both move back to their small hometown and she's pregnant. And then they have to kind of decide what they wanna do because they weren't together when this happened. So I thought this book was good. It wasn't as good as some of the others. There are some things I really loved, some things I, I don't know. I didn't feel as connected just because she was so angry with him for something that I found to be a bit frivolous. But anyway, it has these fantastic flashbacks to like 10 years ago, eight years ago, nine years ago, whatever, like that goes through their relationship. And they were like so 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 in love um and then she finds out basically that he isn't sure that he wants to live in their small village for the rest of his life and that is unacceptable to her and that is why they have this falling out and break up and lose contact with each other for almost 10 years because as like a 17 18 year old kid he just wasn't sure so to me that's just not 10 out of 10 for her but whatever so i kind of 
it's something she works through, which that is fantastic. But I thought it was good, like, him deciding that they're going to be together, him trying to win her back. That was all really good. Um, these are always, like, romantic suspense books as well. So the suspense was great. I thought I knew who it was. I was 100% sure that I knew who it was. Uh, and I was really thrown for a loop when I realized that I was wrong. Um, I thought that was really well done. Uh, I think that just the whole situation was just really well done. Because I really thought that it was just like this little petty thing and it was a completely different situation that ended up being, you know, way more high stakes and I think it fit really well. I really like how there were so many cameos of the family in this book. I love getting to see everyone, how close like Callie and Lewis both are to their families and their extended families as well. I thought that was a great thing to see. And I did love the flashbacks, even though, like, the beginning of the present day, like, the beginning of the book itself, I just wasn't 100% sold on just because I felt like Callie was angry for a reason that just, like, it's perfection or nothing for her. And she does kind of grow from that, and she's not like that later, but it is just sort of a frustrating situation because of that. I had every intention of updating in the middle of this, like I try to do. But the problem is, it was Thanksgiving, and I was at my mom's, so I just went ahead and finished the book instead of, like, waiting to update when I finished it. You know, that would have been silly, so I went ahead and finished the book and figured I would just hop on and, like, explain my thoughts on it. So, it was good. Four stars. There is one more book coming out in this series soon, and that couple was teased a fair amount in this book. So, I'm excited to see it play out because I think it's a character that I'm really going to like. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think this has been a super solid series the whole time. I have loved it. So overall, this was a pretty good little experiment. Um, or it was good to catch up on these series because I liked them all. Like, it's been good. So I'm trying to like... <laughs> He is just everywhere. So yeah, that is actually it. That's all that I have for you guys today. Three books that I read to catch up with some series and it was a really positive experience. I really enjoyed myself. So I will be back soon and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!